graph f of x equals the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 4. So in this video, we're going to graph this function. And so we'll start by looking at the base function or the core function or the parent function. That would be y equals x squared. So when you see this problem, you want to think about this graph here. And what we're doing is we're shifting it left and right, up or down. So whenever you add a number to the x, it's backwards. You think it's right, but no, no, it's left. And whenever you subtract a number from the entire function, it's down, so down 4. So for example, if instead it was x minus 2 quantity squared, this would be right 2. Uh, x plus 2 was left 2. If it was x squared plus 2, like if the plus 2 was on the outside, it would be up 2. So if the number on the outside of the function, uh, if it's negative, you go down. If it's positive, you go up. But when it's next to the x, it's always backwards. All right, good stuff. So now we'll draw our y-axis, and we'll draw our x-axis. So x, y. And then from the origin, we're going to go left 2 and down 4. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we'll put a dot. And now we're just supposed to draw the u. The problem is uh, it's going to cross the x and y axes. So we should go ahead now and find the x and y intercepts. So to find the y intercept, you always plug in 0 for x. So f of 0 is equal to parentheses 0 plus 2 squared minus 4. So 2 squared is 4. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> 4 minus 4 is 0. Good stuff. So that was a coincidence. So here it's going to cross here at 0, 0. Now we have to find the x-intercepts. Well, apparently we've already found one of them. So to find the x-intercepts, you take the entire thing, right? You take y, and you set it equal to 0. So x plus 2 quantity squared minus 4 equals 0. To solve this for x, you add the 4 to both sides. So plus 4 plus 4. Boom. So we have x plus 2 quantity squared equals 4. And to get rid of the 2, you just take the square root of both sides. So square root, square root. So you have x plus 2 equals. Now when you take the square root and you have a variable squared, you always put a plus or minus. So plus or minus 2. And finally, we subtract the 2. So we end up with x equals negative 2 plus or minus 2. Okay, I did that kind of fast. So when you're finding x-intercepts, you take the entire thing, okay, the whole thing, and you just set it equal to 0. Uh, and then we just go through the math. We added the 4. We took the square root of both sides. We got a plus or minus when we did that. And now we have two cases. We have x equals negative 2 plus 2. So that's 0. And the other one is negative 2 minus 2. That's negative 4. So that would be over here. So these red dots are the x-intercepts. The yellow one is the vertex. And now we, just, now we just connect the dots, right? All we do now is connect the dots and make our super awesome graph. So it's a U. It's a U shape. So there we go. That's pretty good. And that's the graph of our function. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.